for the people of Kiruna, it is very special because it affects the very core, the town center, where their everyday life is taking place. Located 145 kilometers inside the Arctic Circle, the northernmost city in Sweden, Kiruna, is in the process of moving its city center in a gigantic urban relocation. I think people choose to live here because of the nature and all the things you can do in the wild. The mentality of the people of Kiruna is very special. It is warm, even though the weather is so cold. Although the climate is harsh, Kiruna has always been a place where people want to stay, close to the Arctic nature. Another reason to stay is LKAB, the state-owned mining company, which is by far the largest employer in the region and is the reason why Kiruna was put on the map in the first place. We have the world's largest underground mine for iron ore. What makes the ore so special is the high purity and quality. Over the years, the town and the mine have built a symbiotic relationship. With the expansion of the mine on Kerena's western border, iron ore is being removed beneath the city's foundations, undermining the ground it sits on. In 2004, LKAB announced the need for relocating the city in order to keep the mining activities going. Without the move, much of the city would collapse into the earth. The plan is to relocate the town from here to here. Over the next 20 years, 6,000 people will move into new homes, built around a new town center. The move will take place in phases, and the first one has already begun. Volvo CE machines are busy doing the plant work preparing for apartments and stores. The vision for the new city is based on requests from the people of Kiruna, where you don't live in one place, work in another, and buy groceries in a third. Instead, it's all mixed together. By bringing the town together, that will also give us a chance to give more protected streetscapes and more protected public space uh, from wind and snow. Some cultural buildings will be moved in their entirety to the new location. In order not to lose a part of Kirina's identity, it is important not to build everything in a short period of time and that we keep what reminds us of Kirina's history. Most of the town's other 1,100 buildings will be demolished and replaced on the new site. But buildings are just one part. You also need the local community on board. The most important thing is to create a city that the people of Kiruna want to live in. A city you choose to move to, not one you have to move to. Hopefully the new city will be a chance for Kiruna to reinvent itself. A city adapted to the spirit of time and attracts young people to stay. My image of my daughter's future will be characterized by what's in Karuna. My oldest daughter is studying to be a civil engineer. I think there will be new opportunities for us who live here. From something old, something new is born.